Kelly. Well, Marcus Kelly. Thanks, Greg. Thanks. Real strong game, Kelly. Thanks, Donna. Fine, sir. Yeah, we'll catch you next week. We'll steal your drink now, right? Mr. Robinson, telephone. Punch me and I'll catch it over here. Hello? Hello? Yes, speaking. Scotty? Yeah, how's it going? You all right. Where'd you disappear to last night? I don't know exactly. Oh, sorry about that. You pretty? No. Say again, where are you now? Not sure about that either. Someplace in the new territories. Well, what are you doing out there? Well, I got a tip on another shipment of uh, heroin. How much? Uh, Three million dollars worth, like the one we picked up yesterday. Didn't seem like much of a lead, though. Didn't want to bother you with it. Would you check it out? Mm-hmm. Is it genuine? Yeah. We'll get on back here. Let's go to work. I can't right now. How come? Well, as a matter of fact, that's what I was calling you about. I ran into a little trouble. Scotty and I confiscated yesterday. Uh, I gotta give it back. Unfortunately, the package doesn't exist anymore. It's been destroyed. So we gotta fake it. What's in the package? Uh, flour, raw sugar, uh, whatever I can find. Rice, maybe. How far you wanna follow it? As far as it goes. 
Then it explodes at the radio signal? No, no, not this time. My instructions are to dump it off the back of the hydrofoil tomorrow morning. I just want it to float. You just want it to float. Jimmy, this is the most important thing you've ever built for us. If it isn't perfect, there isn't going to be any more us. Down to the last detail, it's got to be large enough to float with a 200-pound load. Strong enough to take a pounding. It's so innocent looking, you'd pass it on the street a hundred times and never even notice that it was there. And I need about tomorrow morning. I know, I know, it sounds impossible. Can you do it? Like this? Well, yeah. Sometimes I think I ought to take sides. Pardon me, miss. I seem to be having a lot of trouble with the <clears throat> laces here. I wonder if you could show me something a little less severe. How about uh, something a couple of sizes larger? Huh? Please? How about something basic black, a single strand of pearls, are you? Well, I don't like it either. Of course, I love the way you've done the room, though. I'm dying. Oh, no jokes now. Come on. Just cut the laces in the back. Nobody will know the difference. Come on, will you? How do you know my name? What? My name. I don't know you. Angel, Angel, please. Is it, don't go. Is that your name, Angel? I don't know you. I don't want to know you. Listen, how can I hurt you? Look, like a bug in a pen. I don't know nothing. I don't see nothing. I'm late. Angel, wait. <laughs> Listen, that's a beautiful name. How'd you get a name like that? The movies. Yeah, that's right. Listen, you were in the movie. I know I'd seen you somewhere. But you were in the movies, weren't you? Almost. Well, that's showbiz. Lonesome, haven't slept a wink. And in between, I drink black coffee. Love's a hand me down broom.
in her oven. In between it's nicotine and not much heart to fight. Well, I'll never know us. He's going to try to get clever with me. I don't see how. All he has to do is drop the package off the side of the hydrofoil on the way to Macau. Now, there's no way he can fall in unless he's some kind of fish. You're going to get smart with me, huh? And your partner, your partner's going to try to get smart too, huh? We better send him a note. Make sure everybody shows the tape. A little note for something from you, personal, you know? All Chinese custom for ransom notes. You got two ears, don't you? You don't need them both. Manolo. Hold it. Get out! You get out of here and get back to work! I got it! I got it! I got it! I got it! Oh! Ramon, look at me, Ramon. Look at me. I don't want to look at me. You're making me sick. I've been singing all day, Ramon. Please, please. You promised to sing good. I want to sing good, but I can't sing like this. Just give me a chip. Let me go downstairs to the room. Only please. good girls get chipped for that room. I want to be good, Ramon, but I can't. I, I can't sing like this. Please, You can't Ramon. sing at all. You sing lousy. I think I find somebody that sings good. I think I'll get rid of you. You want to be by yourself no, out in the street, no, huh? No, no, no. Nobody to look after you? Well, then you get out of here. And get back and sing a song nice. I got business here. Now get out. I can't. I, I can't. All right. And you watch. You watch what happens to people that get smart with me. Yeah, General Chu. He said right away. What? Downstairs. He said now. Or two. Manolo. Ah. I'll see you both in a few minutes. Angel. Angel, I've got a painkiller in my belt. You can have it. What? It's strong enough to give a man with a hole clear through him an extra half hour. You can have it. What you say? It's in my belt. You gotta untie the laces. Come on. Come on, my belt. Mi general, vine enseguida. Estoy a sus órdenes. Speak English. Chinese or French? I don't understand Spanish. English, please. I'm not going to be honest. Sorry. It, it goes well. The package will be delivered to us. You mean the package was delivered to you, not to us. 
It was your responsibility. If it is not returned, my John instructed me to tell you, you will have no more responsibilities of any kind. <laughs> but the American is here. There's nothing to be disturbed about. Ramon, you disturb me. You overcomplicate. You stage your child as dramatic. That disturbs me. General, but I have everything under control. How can I set my general's mind at ease? By behaving simply. Let us kill him. Now! How do you feel? Whatever it was, it didn't help much. Enough for me to kill an elephant. That was meant for you. I've seen it before. Come on, man. Get out of here before that guy comes to. Comes to. He's not coming to. The guy's dead. Do you understand that? Huh? Do you understand that? The guy's dead. Now you're in this with me, whether you like it or not. He's dead. I didn't do anything. Oh, yeah? Well, you turn me loose. That's all Ramon will care about. Listen to me. Listen to me. Can you think like this? Are you all right? Leave me alone. I can't. I need you. I can't do this thing without you. Now, if you hold on me now, we're both dead. Ramon will walk on both of us. Yeah, Listen, what are these for? The orange chips. Where'd you get those? What are they for? The room. Where? Down the back stairs. And who goes in the room? Customers that play the right combination at the table, they get the orange chips and they get in at the door. Is there a way out of the room? No, only the way you come in. We can hide there. No, the guy at the door's got to know your face. Well, I haven't got time to hide. You better think of a bright idea, a quick hot shot. As far as bright ideas goes, I think it stinks. What's the matter? Did you ever see a chorus girl pop out of a cake? You haven't got a figure for it. You get killed. I dance pretty good, Jimmy. Let's try the lid again. I have a friend who's a pole bearer. I'll send him along. <laughs> Neat and clean. Tomorrow morning we make the pickup. It goes over the side to feed the sharks. Not tomorrow, today, now. Wow. You stupid fool, you have incinerator, burn it. <laughs> All right. Well, so much for that bright idea. Come on, we gotta make a run for it. Tell them to remove everything from the body. They will not burn. 
See Mona? No, he hasn't been through here. All right, come on, both of you, come on back. Okay, you want to there. They're coming. Manolo. Manolo. We gotta go back. Manolo. 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 again, huh? You remember me from last year, right? No? Oh, well, I, maybe it was another guy. I was here, though. I think you have a reservation for me. Name's uh, Loser, Honor Loser, from Philadelphia. Men's and ladies' undergarments, huh? Right? Nothing. Okay. Uh, look, I never forget a head waiter, and uh, how about uh, these? Mean anything to you? You don't have to give us anything in the front. Uh, you can give us something off to the side, two small chairs behind a small bush. How about something in the cloakroom? Uh oh well, <clears throat> that's all right. We don't want anything anyway. We'll go down to Corner Beanery and get a hamburger. Well, actually, I, I wasn't hungry anyway. You want to go in? Let him. That's right. <laughs> you want to go in? Go ahead, smart fella. Give him a chip. Go ahead, give him a chip.
Come on, give me a hand. Give him a hand. Well, you can't figure everything. My legs have gone to sleep. Oh! Thanks, fellas. You're probably all wondering. Another fine mess you've gotten me into. Sorry about that, Ollie. You can't do anything right, can you? My legs went to sleep. My legs went to sleep. Your legs went to sleep. I wish you wouldn't keep saying that. So they went to sleep, the legs, did they? Let me say that one more time, and I'll punch you right in the mouth. Go ahead. Go ahead. Take, take your best shot. I did it. Untie my hands. Yeah, I'll untie your hands if you untie mine first. I thought so. You're afraid of me. Not afraid of you. I just don't want to hit a man whose legs go to sleep on. That's all. Oh, well, if that were you, pretty head. Sun's high me. Come on. You better hurry, though. I think my punching arm's going to sleep. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't you take a nap all over and I'll wake you if anything happens. Going crazy. I like wine. I think I'm ready for my love. Yes, Angel. I sang good. You sang good. Then will you phone in a vote for me, please? I I can use it now. Sure you can. There's never a time you can't, is there? It's been a long time. I, I need it now. Not yet. Please, Ramon. Not yet. Go back and sing some more. time I'm ever going to get you out of trouble. The last time. I'm afraid you're right. Ramon. Cat's name is Ramon. Who runs the joint? Yeah. The whole world is just junkie. Well, we'll keep him in mind. I'll keep my mind for both of us. And there's a girl. The girl. What's her name? Angel. Yeah, she would be. You managed to get her under your skin. No, no, no. <coughs> she didn't mean anything to me. Nothing but just a dumb, funky loser, that's all. 
That's all. So I come from a long line of losers. Whenever I see one, it hurts. To our bag. It isn't much what we call it home. You're a kook. Have no fear, Annie. Punjab in the ass for here to save you. It's my man. Hi. Angel. Don't worry. We've been in worse fixes than this. Oh, yeah? Well, they're gonna dump us in the ocean tonight. I'm not kidding. They're gonna kill us. Well, we got a few tricks left in our pockets. Yeah. If we could just reach our pockets. Will you stop fooling around with me, please? You got me into this mess. If there's a way out, you gotta tell me. Well, what do you want to know? Well, what are you? Some kind of government agent or what? Well, we were, until we found out what was in the package and what it was worth. You got a big mouth, pal. Well, listen, man, the ball game is over. Listen, Angel, our superiors never even knew what was in the package. So we figured it was worth the risk. I mean, we don't make the greatest salaries in the world, you know. You kept it? You never checked it in? It's a half mile from here. You can still get it? I can, yeah. I know where it is. He doesn't. That's why he came after me to help me. Ramona, make a deal. Talk to him. Well, we, we gotta do something. You want me to talk to him or do you want to? He's desperate. He'll pay anything. He'll do anything. I got a better idea. Your hands are free. Untie me. We tried that before, remember? Look at me. I said, look at me. Didn't give you very much, did he? Just enough. Just a taste. I don't know what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Let's cut out the con, the games, and the conversation. All right? Now, you got the answers that Ramon wanted to hear. We've got the package, right? And we know where it is. Now, we'll lead him to it if he can follow us long enough and well enough, right? So, that's the play. Now, you untie us so we can escape, right? So, let's get on with it. I don't know what you're so mad about. Neither do I. So we put him on a leash, my general. And if the leash is strong enough, eventually they will lead us where we want them to. At least we'll not break. Nobody will ever break this leash. So. She is untying them. Now we wait. Where'd you get that key? It's part of the game. Ramon planted it on me. He can't very well escape without a key. You know? Well, Angel, it's been nice knowing you. Aren't you going to take me with you? You're supposed to go with us, too, huh? Ramon didn't miss a trick. He'll kill me. Please. Please take me with you. You know, I can't do that, Angel. You'd sell out your own mother. What do you know about it, anyway? Who cares about you? You don't mean anything to me. I'm only trying to save my own neck around here. You're the one that put it in a noose. Scotty, make up your mind.
You see, my general? Moss Road, up on the roof. What is it? It's a lady's bathhouse. Should be interesting. Yeah. All right. Let's go put in a couple of phone calls to the cops and go watch the fun. Yeah, listen, you make the phone call, will you? Okay. You need that? No. Let me have it. You're kidding. I gotta get her out, Kel. You don't have to do that. I still owe you a punch in the mouth if you want it now. <laughs> My son always said in Charlie Chan. What's that? You'll never think of looking for us here, Pop. Number one son was always wrong. You had to bring that up. How's the game going? Fourth down, goal to go, our ball, and they're still running around in that bathhouse. How can you tell? Because I just heard a lady scream. Can I apologize? Nope. Barbara. Well, that's marvelous. Yeah. What are your names? Oh, well, this is Lee, and uh, my name is Wong. They're giving up the bathhouse. They're on their way back here. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. You want to dance? Wow. You betcha, I said. Wonderful. Well, 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 How's our team doing? Well, three of them are on their way over here to the showers. The others are covering the field. Great. I was afraid our boys might be outnumbered. Well, we may be small, but we got a lot of heart. Yeah, how are we doing on brain? Aren't you good? It's so funny. Oh, why, well, he's a laugh, right? You ought to see him with a lampshade. Ah, uh, girls, listen, uh, would you wait for us at a table? Now, we have to go and powder our noses. Uh -huh. uh, if we're not back in five minutes, you start with Alice. Cops coming in the front door, heavy's coming in the back. We got five minutes, maybe more, maybe less. I've always admired your sense of time, eh? We'll make it. That's what number one son used to always say.
There's guns in the way. No guns in here. I told you. Come on out, Ramon. Somebody else up in the room with a two-way radio. I just called out the whole team on the double. Whoopee, it's a party. Whoever's in that office, get him out here. Get him out here, Ramon, now. All right, all right, you two clever fellas. <laughs> come on out, come on out. Will you come out, General? Let me in business. Now, what can Ramon do for you? Ramon, if there's any trouble, you go first. I guarantee it. I believe you. Go ahead, Scotty. Time to talk to you now. Come on, we gotta get out of here. The whole world's breathing down our necks. Hey, what is this? Come get out of here. Leave me alone. That was your come back for? Angel, what's the matter with you? They came back to save you. And you better listen to them. <laughs> What are they, crazy or what? No, they're just nice boys, Angel. Hold it! Drop them! Drop them! Now hold everything. Everything is under control here, boys. Now stay still. We're cutting it a little thin, Pally. Thank you. She's free. Go ahead, uh, Angel. Have some fun. Take a vacation, even. Even get yourself a new life. <laughs> Out in the hallway. If you call that home, you can have it. Hey, Ramon! <laughs> Isn't he beautiful? <laughs> Why don't we all get married and settle down with the chickens? <laughs> you some kind of weird old boy scout. <laughs> Three squares and a place to sleep. And I pay my dues. That's it. There ain't no more. Don't make no difference. It's all the same. Anywhere. I know, because I've been there. So long, hotshot. Sorry to have caused you so much trouble. 
Don't get killed on the way out. What's the matter, smart fella? She doesn't want to get saved. <laughs> those are those ladies for you. You're a poor loser, friend. Right. Hold it, hold it! Go around front when they come out, kill them. Stop and listen. I want you to close everything up. Close, send everybody home, and close the place up, all right? I can't. What do you mean you can't? Come on, let's go. Are you all right? I have two houses and a hotel in Marvin Gardens. Fifty scuba rental, five dollars. Deposit fifteen. That leaves ten. And twenty percent off on all goods returned in good condition. You gave us thirty percent last time. Twenty percent. I'm cutting to the bone, Kelly. Make it into a submarine. Sell it to your wonderful Russian clients. Thirty percent off. All right. Twenty-five percent. I can't stand haggling. You can't stand haggling. Gotta watch him like a hawk. Hang in there, Tiger. You got him right where he wants you. Don't be so smart. How come I always have to do this? Because you're better at it than I am. That's why. Listen, you start pounding away at him and he's helpless, right, Jimmy? As a businessman, he makes a wonderful spy. Labor is 13 hours and $10 an hour, $130. It's a half-hour lunch. A sandwich in my room. 